Welcome to episode two of the Simcast, and today you're joined by yours truly, Salmon, and my co-host and best friend, Sumit. Fuck yeah! <laughs> and uh, today's topic is, I mean, it's not going to be necessarily a lively one, but it's going to be one that you're going to take a lot away from. Oh, for fuck's sake! <laughs> keep this in bro keep this in that's fucking joke fucking fuck up my alarm <laughs> what the fuck this, no, this just went from like a totally like professional podcast to this like this b-tech fucking let's get the sounds in the background type shit <laughs> it's because i set an alarm to wake up i passed out in bed i literally woke <laughs> up five minutes ago just to do this podcast for you guys okay <laughs> so you better fucking listen you better fucking listen bro let's go for it right no but t- today's topics are are not necessarily going to be lively but it's going to be something that you're going to take away from you know there's a lot of things to learn from our experiences just as this podcast is as a whole it's our experiences and you're going to learn from it right yeah this was a bit of a deep one but i think it's something that a lot of people can relate to uh shout out this one girl who actually said we should talk about this we're taking we're taking it on board like we said like if you have any sort of topics that you want us to do Hit us up because we'll talk about them topics and we'll give our own experience. And I know people like to hear other people's experiences and try and relate to them. You know what I mean? Yeah, I agree with you. So shall we get into it? Right, Sumit, would you like to do the honors and uh, oh, do the we origin have story? Another one. We have origin story. So basically, there's this one guy, and he had like a massive crush on this chick. Not me, by the way. It was just some random Donny. Like he was a massive weeb too. It actually kind of sounds like me, really. But it's not, and he's a huge simp. But then one day he just like said, "Fuck it, I'm gonna kill myself because he can't be with this girl." And you know, rest in peace. Like you know, like he was a big simp. He's not actually dead. <laughs> metaphorically, no, no, no. he died. No, he metaphorically died, like mentally. You know, he got a tombstone and everything, put it he in his back <laughs> pocket, and he's like, he's one of the ones from My Strange Addiction, so he's like chewing on that tombstone or something. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> if you haven't catched them by now, every week we're gonna change the uh, the actual origin of the story. Bro, and he's like, just winging it. He's just bro, winging, winging it. it. Nothing's written down. Nothing is written down. It's all just bollocks, waffle shit. <laughs> this time it wasn't as good. I think my dead nan's fucking whatever shit. That was good. That was, that was good. Because that was just so up. random. This one is just like, I just made shit up. I don't know a guy, bro. I have, <laughs> I have no idea. I don't know what's going on. All right. Well, look, let's start. Let's start, right? All right, yeah. Let's get so, with the deep shit. Firstly, I went to uni. Um... And obviously, Sumit, if you don't know already, he didn't go to uni. He did an apprenticeship as, uh, instead, right? Yeah, I did, I did an apprenticeship in accounting. So I was still based in Leicester. And uh, obviously, Solomon went to university in Newcastle. Yeah. Yeah. So I just want to ask them. So let's, let's just get straight into it. Yeah, I just want to ask. So when you moved away, obviously, you left a lot of people behind in that. Like, yeah. How, how are you feeling like right at the, at the start, like first few weeks in moving to newcastle well like although i wasn't like necessarily homesick because i was moving from a one family home to another family home but i hadn't i hadn't lived in newcastle for like more than 13 years like i was born here but i hadn't lived here for 13 years so i had no friends here at all i had no friends the cultural difference is big as well because in leicester it's super diverse right we have loads of brown friends right um, but here, you're lucky if you find a brown person, right? Also, um, saying fucking Geordie accents, bro. I can't stand them, bro. I actually don't mind it. My dad's I one, hate so. them so much. They say shit. <laughs> that's a lot of. That's what a lot of people say. To be fair. Yeah, like southern okay. accents are a lot better. I'm not gonna lie. It's more attractive. Yeah. I mean, I don't really give a shit if you sound shit. As long as it's not a brum accent, man. Why is everyone yeah. violating Birmingham nah, my, nowadays? My accents are fucking dirty, bro. I'm not allow it. <laughs> All right, but essentially, yeah, I was move. I was moving away from a lot of my friends, right? And not only that, my girlfriend. Like, it was a bit. It was gonna go into a long distance relationship, and obviously, yeah, that was that was kind of ropes for you. I remember you being like super, super upset with that one. Yeah. So like the first two weeks was super depressing. Like I didn't have friends, so <laughs> I'd basically just like i wander around campus and i'd be like what the fuck am i doing like what am i doing I'm By just... way, do you know when he said he had no friends like he wouldn't even like he'd like ghost me as well i barely chat to this guy first few weeks of uni 
I was just super depressed because also I didn't have my girlfriend with me. You know, like I was used to seeing her a couple times a week and regularly like chatting to her. But, you know, when she went to uni, she's busy. So she wasn't really replying all the time. And obviously I hadn't seen her in two months at that point. So for me, I, I felt a different type of sickness, you know, instead of homesickness, I was kind of like, you kind of love sick still. Yeah. Yeah, I was. Yeah. Um, but, you know, things started to change, right? Over time, I started yeah, I meeting mean, more that's people. The, that's the thing as well. Like, obviously, you it, took, it takes a few weeks to settle in anyway. But, I mean, yeah. again, though, like, before you were living with your grandparents and your uncle. Yeah. And this time you're living with your mum, dad and brother, right? Yeah, so I'm obviously not in student accommodation. So it makes it harder to make friends, right? Obviously, a lot of people who have moved to uni, they were, like, living up the life. They were going out, enjoying themselves. So it was difficult for me to watch everyone else enjoy themselves and me to be like just stuck at home doing fuck all basically yeah, another, another question on that then so obviously you say you were kind of you you were, you were living with your parents so yeah did they give you as much independence as you would have had if you had been in an accommodation or like no um well you see the thing is right when i was deciding where i wanted to go for uni i really wanted to go the to the uni that my girlfriend went to right yeah, yeah. Um, that, that was a long ass story. Yeah, I'm glad and you that, didn't go though. Uh, well, yeah. In hindsight, it's good, right? Um, but that that was really tough because like I was arguing with my entire family. Like I, I've never really been on bad terms with my family before. You know, Asian culture is not necessarily like that. You always kind of, you always got preach that for yeah. real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, you're always quite culture. good on. You're always good on t- on good terms with your family. There's, there's um, only like one or two usually, but like even then, it's like they don't really matter it's never yeah close yeah but this was a this was a big thing this was like a full-on blown argument for a week um but at the end of the day i just had to fucking realize that this is my future and you know like if my relationship wasn't going to work then i would just be in another city for no reason exactly that's why i was like thank fuck you didn't go because that would have been proper shit as well yeah true um Anyways, but I still took care of my relationship, you know, like... Oh, yeah, 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 I remember you saying, so how do you... I was, I was going to say, like, you said that you used to, like, commute all the time to wherever she was. Yeah, it was uh, it was a long commute. It was about four hours there, four hours back, and I had to wake up at 5 a.m. Fuck, and I, you know, you I, never said that. Yeah, I mean, look, I don't necessarily like to talk about those things. Like, I just do things for people. I don't expect, uh, like, sympathy or... Or anything like that you know what i mean i just do it i get on with it you know oh, uh, but well. yeah i was waking up at like 5 a.m uh catching the train four hours there i stayed the weekend uh came back and i did that like probably good five times in four months that's not yeah. bad i mean that's obviously that's banging actually well it's really. difficult like it's expensive as well like it's not cheap at all it, like oh, the, for real. The, yeah just to just to travel alone it's a good 40 quid then obviously you're spending the weekend, you're eating food and stuff like that. So, I mean, it adds up, especially for a student, right? Like, it's costly. Long distance relationships are costly. But what I can definitely tell you, like, if you're gonna, if you're thinking about uh, moving away for uni and you're worried about long distance relationships and shit like that, I can definitely say it's viable. It's not, it's not the, it's not impossible. Like, my relationship didn't end because of the long distance. There was other private yeah, matters. There was private matters which we won't get into, obviously. Yeah, but exactly. Like, it was. It was kind of like, it worked. I mean, it did work. It did work really well. You know, like if if you love someone, you will do anything for them, um, including waking up at fucking five a.m. half see, dead. This is this is like such a simp story as well. Like, yeah. I'm waking up five a.m. to see us girlfriend four hours away this one with the fucking simp cast holy but shit this guy bro <laughs> it's, it's true i am the ultimate simp no no yeah. no i'm still taking king of simps bro i don't know about that i feel no, like I'm, after after I'm, this I'm, podcast i will be the king of simps uh, fuck he might take my crown you know he might Who, take, you can't even wake up at 5 a.m I think I won you on that one nah, you can't wake up at 5 a.m bro wake up at 5 a.m bro you put for me to a girl. sleep at eight o'clock for a girl and then travel four hours <laughs> Bro, do, you, do you know me still i wouldn't be even allowed out the house at that time what do you mean you'd probably fucking <laughs> slip out the window or some shit like that <laughs> Bro, i can't fit out my window what do you mean i can't, you can't fit out, out my your window, window. <laughs> no see this guy's fat 
He's fat as fuck. Oh, I see oh, how it is. is. I see how it is. Whoa, what is this? This is abuse. I can't believe this. this is, well, friends, there's no such thing as abuse. In a friendship, no, there's no such thing as abuse. True say, true say. <laughs> right. Um, right anyways, but yeah, I still another, qu- another question. Oh, yeah, yeah go for it. Another question. So, after the, ho- I want to talk about after the whole girlfriend thing, because I think we should move on from that rather than getting into any details. Oh, no, yeah, I was going to move on, yeah. Yeah, so, obviously you said you were, you were struggling with going like like making friends this and that yeah which is weird which is weird for you knowing you like you're really sociable but the thing is uni environments nothing like school because obviously school you have classes and shit like that I mean, but for you, me you have you, a whole room right and yeah it's a, it's a massive too. it's a massive lecture hall right so you're not necessarily like talking to each other and shit like that i mean did you join you any mean, clubs or anything yeah that's what i got into like um that's how i made my most of my friends in the beginning uh it was the esports club you know like I like video games. I've always liked video games. Um, so I went to like the trials and shit like that. And I met a lot of people. I met a lot of friends that I feel like they're going to be friends for life from that club. Uh, they kind of got me through like the first month of uni. They kept me occupied. That's the thing about uni. You need you need a good social life. Because... True say, true say. Yeah. It, it fully looks like you're like... Even like without uni, you need a good social life. Like... True. I'll get into I'll get into mine a bit later, but for real, like you need a social life to just sort of just get your mind off everything. True. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm usually good at making friends. You know me. I could I could talk to a fucking tree and make friends with it. Bro, you talk to <laughs> random people in the street. Like the that smoked is true. salmon story is the, the smoked salmon story. story in the world, bro. It's mad. The reason we never released that actual podcast was it was a mock podcast, but I just happened to have a good story in it. Yeah, so we're like, like we fuck it, we'll fuck it. As a channel yeah. trailer, like it's so good, bro. It's so but yeah, funny. I, I don't know. I just I don't know what my personality is like. It's just I, just, I can talk to any random people in Dubai. Yeah. There was there's you're there quite was this similar. Special. You're quite similar to me. I think that's probably why we're like best mates in that. Yeah, because we're quite similar. Like, if you know me, I try and be as sociable as possible. I can be very awkward, but that's like, if you give off like bad energy, I I don't want to hear that. I don't want to. I want nothing to do with you. Yeah, true. <laughs> it's one of those ones. But again, so. Would you say the club, joining these clubs and stuff like, would you say that helped you deal with your loneliness and your sort of your depressed state? Yeah, for sure. I mean, like if you have a passion or a hobby, um, like actively do those things. You know, uh, do basketball, do football, swimming, whatever, whatever the hell you want to do. Just like do it, and you'll meet people who have similar interests, and you you start a friendship from there. Like you've Raj, he's one of my you know closest friends here, um, and he's basically the Newcastle version of you. But obviously, no one will ever compare to you, babes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> also, by the way, little quick shout out to my boy Yuvraj. He's coming on the podcast very soon, and we have yeah. a very, very, very good topic lined up for that one. Another relatively deep one, but I mean, I reckon it's, it'll be more funny. Laughs out of it'll it. be a lot more funnier. You get a few laughs out of it because some of the shit that you hear, bro, is so funny. I just, I just want to ask you a question, right? Go for it. Bef- before I obviously had that experience with long distance relationships and you obviously saw how it was going for me, what was your opinion on long distance relationships for uni? Because I feel like you probably shared the same opinion as most people, right? Yeah, I mean, you tried your best to make it work. And I felt if people, if both parties put in the effort, then it can work. Like, I know one person for this is like current uh, one person from that's like a regular the place I work and she and her boyfriend like she lived in Canada and the boy lived obviously in England and they made it work that that's they, long they, distance a whole, a whole year and a half like you know how mad that is that is that is mad that's I prop, props for that and now, though and now she's moved to England which is like sick obviously for the guy and for her because they get to be together more but like they made it work for a year and a half, like apart, a different fucking continents. Never mind, just uni. True. You know what I mean? Like that's yeah. mad. That's so mad. I rate it so highly. So, I think before I heard about them, I'd say nah, long distance doesn't work. But now I have like more faith in it because of because of that story. I'm the same. Like I, that was my opinion before meeting my ex. But when when you're like so fucking clapped, because I was clapped 
over. No, like, you weren't, like, bro. He's, no, he's over exaggerating. He's <laughs> over, actually so he's over exaggerating so much. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's true. I'm no, exaggerating. No, no. Shut, your, shut your mouth, man. There's bare man that can vouch for me saying that you're Leng, bro. So shut up. I ain't hearing it. I actually ain't hearing it. All right, all right, true. All right, feed no, my I'll, ego. I'll Keep actually, feeding I'll my actually, ego. Oh, bro, I'm fighting, bro. I swear down. I'm <laughs> gassing up everyone. I just don't care. Should we have a boxing match? Should we do that YouTube shit? Ma- bro, I, I, I genuinely couldn't punch you in the face. You couldn't? I couldn't. No. I could punch you in the face. Do you think so? If with we're going to have a boxing match, like, bro, that's, that's with like... Malice, with malice. With malice trying to batter me. I want to win. I don't give a fuck. Oh, man. Okay, <laughs> I'm not gonna. Well, I'm not gonna let you beat we have, me. We have very different uh, perspectives. I don't think I could hurt my friends. Uh, you see, I'm so competitive that, like, okay, I'm, I'm playing basketball with your right? And I'm. I don't. I don't play easy on him. I don't play e- easy on anybody. No, but that's different. Like right. playing football in that. Like I'll go for a slide tackle, but I won't try and go for it like a day. Like, I don't feel like football is as physical challenge. as basketball in that sense, though. I'm be. literally running at full speed into this guy. I literally need him in his knee, <laughs> and he couldn't walk for like five <laughs> minutes. I mean, football though. The thing with football is like. It can be dangerous if you play dangerous. With basketball, True. I mean, in general, you're trying to steal the ball. I mean, you can. People kind people of... think basketball is not a contact sport. Because it's there's a lot, a there's a lot of, there's a lot of contact. Isn't it classed as a non-contact sport though? Yeah, it is. But there's a lot of contact. But there's a lot of contact. Yeah, so a lot. Especially if you watch professional basketball. That confuses a lot of people though. I mean, if you watch a professional game, especially the playoffs that are going on right now, oh my god, some of those games are so so physical players are getting ejected of from the game because in basketball right if you get two technical fouls um you get or a flagrant two foul uh, you get kicked uh, out uh, uh, oh sorry oh shit oh man that was that was so interesting bro oh my god fuck yeah. you <laughs> some people don't know anything about basketball it's interesting it's a totally different sport uh, that's so fun. Nah, I'm sorry, bro, but we just tangented like mad. Like, what just happened? It's calm. <laughs> All right. All right. What were, what were we talking about? We're talking yeah, about so like, do, do, do hobbies and shit. Uh, keep yourself occupied during uni. You have a lot of free time. So, like, look at us. This is obviously my first year has gone by. Um, and I'm good now. You know, like, mentally, I'm good. I've got my friend groups um, in uni, outside of uni. Uh, I, obviously, I can go down to the Leicester whenever I want and shit like that. Um, and we started this podcast, you know, with, on our free time, yeah, and it man. bangs, and it, it bangs. bangs. People bro, bro. like it. Hey, thank yo, you for bro, listening, quick though. Thing, yeah. Thank you so much for all the support. It's been so mad. We hit two hundred views in twenty four hours. Do you know how nuts that is? Considering like, we've not like, well, actually, technically, my guy paid for promo on Insta, but that's on Insta, not our YouTube channel. Like, this is just f- through like you lot, you, our friends, and it like. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you for just like, you just gassed me up so much. You gassed up the podcast. I heard so many good reviews. Like, it's just sick. I just, I can't show my gratitude enough to you. Like, like you guys are fucking sick. Yeah, there's like, a lot of overwhelming support for it. You honestly, know? I genuinely felt like crying. Like, the amount of support we were getting. Like, I was like tearing up, bro. I was like, just oh cry, bro. God, bro. Fucking no, cry. No, no, no. Bro. I was like tearing up. Was, cry, like, keep it in a jar and like label that. My, Tier when we hit two hundred views. So then, when you hit one million, you can actually cry on like on live stream or some shit oh, like for that. For real, like honestly, like that's a dream. Like to even <laughs> shout out one of my boys. Yeah, he was like, <laughs> he was like, the boy coming through, um, catching up with Joe Rogan. Yeah, he's giving him competition. I was like, hey, I fucking wish, bro. <laughs> I, was like, I mean, Joe imagine. Joe Rogan had to start somewhere. So we so are we right? Yeah, for real. But didn't he have like a massive audience beforehand? Anyway. Oh yeah, he's famous though. He's famous. He was MMA yeah. commentator and he was in uh, movies as well. So I think, he I think a... the best. I think the best person to really relate to is probably True Geordie. Yeah, probably. Because he came, he came out of nowhere. Like he was, he had one YouTube video that blew up, and that was him like going doing a madness as a Newcastle fan about like some guy called Nile Ranger. He's like some shit footballer. Yeah, uh, bro. If you ever listen to this, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, but you were bare dead, bro. <laughs> you what, were bare dead. You, uh, who? No, oh, the footballer. Right. footballer. Bro, you are hella dead. I'm sorry. What about Alexis Sanchez? Oh man, fuck. Remember that when guy, he was man. chatting shit? Fuck that guy, bro. I hope, nah, man. I hope he breaks his ankle or something and gets injured for the rest of his career, bro. He's a waste, man. Jesus Christ, bro. He fucking ruined United's wage structure, everything, man. 
Hey, we ain't talking about football, man. No, we'll I, see I, that football for another time. Me, no, football's pissing me off. I don't even want to chat to. It. I don't want to chat about it. <laughs> football actually pisses me off anyway. Like, oh man, the only good news we had was we signed one player, but fuck them. I don't care. We want like three, four more, man. All right. So obviously we've talked about my experience and obviously how I've gone through those things. Yeah. I'm good now. Look, I've got my friends. I've got my hobbies. Um, I'm quick looking question forward. Question again, though. Quick, quick. No, yeah. no one, but one last question, and then we can move on. Yeah. So, what would you say was the pivotal moment for you? Like, cha- like everywhere, everything changed. Like, what was it for you, which made you come out of your comfort zone and be sociable at uni, and sort of it took you away from the loneliness. It took you away from the depressed state that you were in before. Because I remember back when it first started after like the first like month and a half you like before that you ghosted everyone after that you like started talking a lot lot more yeah and what, what do you think the p- pivotal moment was Cause i still don't know to this day i think it's a mixture of like overcoming my feelings at the time and also meeting really good people you know like really good people can change your life they can so meet is an example of that so me has changed uh-huh. my life entirely you know like as a friend he's irreplaceable he's gotten me through a lot of tough times and given me a lot of good advice and um those people in your life you should hold on to those people and you should cherish them for sure and that's what that's what pretty much got me through those tough times you know Man's good gonna people be tearing on the podcast man <laughs> cry Man's bro cry on the podcast. but but also being able to have the mental capacity to really just like look right now you're going through a tough time stay positive you know stay yeah, positive I it's hard that. to convince yourself that everything is going to be all right but it's it but it is right it is because yeah, we like sure, to overthink sure. right everything works out i mean i saw I, I recently i've been feeling so fucking good like just everything's going right like True. nothing's yeah. nothing's gone wrong like i mean we had a fucking sick night and i talked about it in the last podcast well, I got in a bit of trouble, but I think everything is good now. But like what recently happened? I was on the last podcast, bro. I in that trouble. I told you better. In trouble. With with you know with the girls and that. Oh, okay. Fair, yeah, fair, yeah, fair. yeah. But like, you know, like with friends, and I thought I ruined friendships, but we're all good. We're all sorted. We're yeah, I feel like we're on now. the top of life right now. I'm on the top. I'm feeling great. Like we started a podcast. Fucking podcast. <laughs> I never thought in a million years I'd start a podcast. I've always had the idea. Like, you know what? Being on a podcast would be so sick. Then fucking literally a couple of weeks later, my boy, he's like, bro, sh- we should do a fucking podcast. I was like, oh my God. And I was like, shit, I need to get a microphone. Cause yeah, I literally like, ordered shit, it. Bro. I literally ordered, it, ordered it, it on the day. And we, as soon as I got it, we fucking recorded the podcast and released it the next day. <laughs> it's literally mad. I, oh, it's so sick. But look, this is just a start, right? We're going to, we're going to, we're going to be even better. The topics we're going to cover up. are going to be I'm better. I'm telling you now, like, if you stick with us, you stick with us, I swear down, we'll level up. For also, sure. We need to think of a, like a, I think we're doing weekly, right? Yeah, Sundays. We're trying to do weekly, Sunday, 5 p.m. I know, uh, so another thing is like, yeah, we're competing with the Sidemen. No, nah, man, allow it. <laughs> Watch the podcast instead of the Sidemen. <laughs> no, the Sidemen are good, though. In. No, the Sidemen are sick. I rate them. Their movements are sick. Like they're yeah. doing bits like so much it's mad but podcasts they've are changed still. they've changed their they've changed their style so much oh, for it? sure bro they leveled up like their money changed them bro <laughs> it, it's true it's like mr beast because he has mr. more beast money to work with mr, mr. His beast video. have you seen the island videos yes that is fucking they're sick fucking he gives away an sick. island he's made an eight hundred thousand dollar island Jump yeah i don't know how i could give eight hundred thousand dollar island away to someone bro he got sp- he probably made days. bare P though. Off the from videos, that video. bro, he gets bare. YouTube pay him fucking big money, man. I'll be out soon, don't worry. I right, trust me. I'm we'll, we'll do something we'll do something like covering some meat with gold foil ten K challenge. <laughs> some shit like that. <laughs> <laughs> King of Simps. By the way, the the Simpcast, this channel, I don't think it's just gonna be podcast, by the way. Yeah, we we'll can try introduce and get some, more. We'll try and get some fun shit. Like every time we meet up. We'll try and record like a fun video or something. A vlog or some shit like, like that. Like a vlog or some shit. I think, no, maybe not a vlog, like a challenge or a funny like Q&A or like a would you rather or something with like forfeits. Yeah, we can do. Yeah, we'll do something like that. 
give us requests what do you want what do you want to see yeah, what do you want to see man because podcasts that's like gonna be like the, the that's the base that's the foundation of what we are then we want to just have some extra shit on the side which is like extra uploads so keep people entertained this and that you know what i mean like i think that's yeah. sick for us but for those of you who are listening and particularly interested because you're moving for uni I hope you take a lot from my experience um, and things to learn. But yeah, man, for like you, just, me, know, just know you're not alone. Like, honestly, please. Yeah, just, for sure. You, if you're in your first year, which I don't know how many of you are going to be in your first year, considering the friends I have. But if you're in your first year, like, just just know that. Just try and be confident. Try and reach out to people. Be like, hey, what's your name? You know, Especially like, if you're in student accommodation. Exactly. Don't be a pussy. Yeah, don't don't be a don't pussy. Be a pussy. Like, make sure you fucking break that wall down, man. There might be a brick wall in front of you. Yeah, break just be like, down, are man. you guys going out? Can I come you guys with going you? Out? Mind if I come? You, you know, something? like be like that. Don't be depressed or anything. Just be like, yeah, come. I'll come with you guys if you let me. Boom. Then you end up having sick memories and things just go mad. I mean, to be fair, like meeting friends in the club ain't exactly the greatest thing because you're just talking to a bunch of drunk people and shit you know what i mean i know what you mean but those drunk people i mean they could they could it's not the greatest like social setting friends. to meet someone you know what i mean i feel like it is though it's the club you I can't really a, talk i've though. met a few people in the club and i'm like i'm not i wouldn't say i'm like best friends with them or anything but like we're like we're like mates for sure like, I'll see them about and be like, yo, well, I'll go on, bro. Like, for real, like, it's Fair. bad. I don't think I've ever made a friend in the club. Yeah, I made a, I made a couple. Not, like, loads of loads of friends or anything, but, like, a few friends. Like, maybe, like, one or two in a club. Like, it's just it's just a madness, for real. But the knowing knowing who you are, right, I'm not surprised <laughs> that you've made friends in the club. This like, fucking real, guy bro. took a drink from a random person and just downed it on my birthday. Oh my god! Do you remember that? That guy yeah, could have. That could have. He was trying to give it to spiked. random people. It could have been spiked. Yeah. It could have been spiked, but I was fucked, man. That that was a mad night. Oh, uh, when when uh, look at me by Triple X came on. Wait, bro. That we fucking were jumping. song. We were jumping. Like, to me, so fat caused an earthquake. Shut your fucking mouth, <laughs> you bitch, bro. Nah, man. Oh yeah, I ain't having this. This is an abuse. This is an abuse right here, you fucking nerd, bro. I'm about to you. Nerd. Nah, fuck it. Let's get this fucking boxing fight. You're a fucking it, nerd. Punch in the face. Yeah, come. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's do this fucking boxing match. We're doing I'll beat the shit out of you. <laughs> Wait, bro. This guy's gonna be running around the ring. I'll be like fucking crawling, like trying to stand up. Like, I'll be the next oh. Amir Khan, bro. Amir Khan. Yeah. Are you sure? Yep. But I'll be more of a failure. If he wasn't already <laughs> enough of a failure. Oh, well, this guy, bro. Remember when he was on fucking I'm a celebrity? Get me out of it. That was jokes. That was a fun. Remember he that ate the jokes. biscuits and then yeah. left him. Ugh. That was so funny, man. I remember this guy, such a fat bitch. It was so funny. <laughs> All right, but look, let's like, let's get back to it, right? So yeah, man, what was what was your experience like? Because you didn't obviously you didn't go to uni. You stayed at home, um, and shit like that. Like, what was it like? Yeah, man, it was it was super difficult because obviously I'm seeing like all my friends just like gone. Like this is from college. Like college, you see your friends every fucking day. And you like chat with them, you have fun with them all the time. Like it's just, it's always jokes with them. And then next day that like, you have this mad summer where you're seeing them all the time. Like every other day you're going out, you go to town or you're playing football or something. Right. Yeah. And then they move to uni and it's just like you're left in Leicester kind of like by yourself. Like I had a few people in Leicester still that I could chill with. And I, I think chilling with them really helped. But for example, like with you, it was so difficult because I was like, I'm not gonna see my brother for fucking ages. Yeah, true. Like it's it was proper hurting me. I'm like, fuck man, I'm not gonna see this guy for so long. And that's I want to like you know like give you a massive hug in that you know what I mean. I yeah, but our friendship's so good. Like we could go months without talking and that's still the thing. like that's be the on thing. the same wavelength. We'll always be on the same wavelength because that's what we've always been on. But like, it was just difficult because I was like fuck man i just want to see this guy and chat to him catch jokes can i just add one thing right so if you're moving away for uni right and obviously you're not really talking to your friends much and shit like that you will know who are real and fake friends because Trust me. the, the, the real friends will st- yeah they'll check up on you they'll pop up to you they'll talk to you they'll see how you are you know that's that's how you know someone's a good friend for you yeah man like, i've 
I've not chatted to a lot of people in a while that I used to chat at college all the fucking time. But like, the ones that pop up and be like, yo, bro, you good? I'll be like, yeah, man, thank you. You know, I, I appreciate that kind of shit. It's fucking, oh, that's huge for me. Like, any sort of attention from like people that I haven't seen in a while and knowing that you're still my friend, like, that's fucking huge. I love that. Yeah, I agree with you. Yeah, yeah continue. Yeah. All right, well, obviously, seeing everyone go to uni, like you especially, it was mad because I was like, fuck, man, I'm on my own. I'm starting something new too. Like, I was doing an apprenticeship in accounting. So I'll be at college on a Monday, then I'll be working from Tuesday to Friday. I'd have Saturday, Sunday only off. Yeah. And at the time, like right at the start, I had two jobs. I was doing dominoes and I was doing my accounting job. How was that like though? That was fucking difficult. I had zero time. So your work life balance was really shit. Work life balance was awful the first three months and I was getting super, super, super depressed and I was like, you know, fuck this. I have to quit my domino job. It was getting shit as well. Like I hated my manager. I didn't like that I liked a few of the people there. Like I'm still mates with one of the people and shout out you. You listen to the podcast as well. Thank you. (laughs) Thank you for your feedback. To be fair, a lot of a lot like you had the same situation as, situation as me, right? Like, kind of, but not exactly. But like your friends that you were making, obviously you're in a workplace, and a lot of them were way older than you. Yeah, so bro. Like it's a big difference. But you still made friends with them, right? Yeah, yeah. Like the thing is, I feel like age when you're in the workplace, it proper doesn't matter. Like it really doesn't. I would have like, always assumed I, it does. I, like, I, I would have really, thought like the older people look down on you because you're like a younger person, no, right? No, 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 no. They helped me out so much and they were all amazing. Like, I remember the Christmas party. We had the best time ever. Like, it was so fun. Like, everyone drinking, everyone having fun. We're all equals in this, man. Like, oh, some people might be better at the job than others. But like, fuck that. Who cares? Man, I'm a fucking learner. You know, I'm an apprentice. They're, help, they're there to help me out. We're here to work together. We're a team. We ain't just like so individuals working together. Like, that's dumb. We're a team. We're so you had a time. good experience. You had a good yeah. experience. Like, I think that's probably what helped me a lot as well. Like, going to work, I could focus on myself. Like, after I quit my domino job, I felt so much better. I had so much more free time. I could see my friends a lot more. Shout out to one of my guys. Yeah, he used to supply me with like a lesser ticket every now and then. And I'll go to the games with him. I needed that shit. Because that was fucking sick. You needed a getaway, right? Man, I needed a getaway. Like, going out, even going out to dinner with some people is so sick. Like, just like, j- j- just the time out. Like, I talk to my family all the time. Like, I come home, I talk to my family. That's it. I don't have much time for friends. And that's horrible. Yeah. You know? I mean, you're, in a, you're in a situation where a, a lot of people are... Like, your parents might not necessarily let you out a lot, you know? Like, I have quite strict parents. Like, they were quite strict with how I went out and stuff. Like, especially clubbing and that. Like, they don't really like me drinking and stuff. But I do it anyway because, you know, it's fun. Like, it's just fun. It's like a social thing to do. But, like, I think that was... that Getting them to sort of let me out more. Understanding I'm more independent now. I'm older. That was huge as well. Like, yeah, that I agree. helped me a lot. That helped me a lot in terms of dealing with my loneliness. Like, I was in a depressed state for so fucking long. Like, you know this. Yeah, I do. You know this. I've talked about it so much. Like, I'm quite open with my mind and stuff. And I came out to my parents about it, my mental health, recently in lockdown. Like, I got made redundant from my job in March, and I had a mental breakdown. Soon after that, I opened up about my mental set, my mental health and stuff, and it's amazing how far you've actually come since March. Because in thing, March, like, you at the lowest of the low. I was at the lowest point. Like, I think I actually you know. I feel like I've been lower. Do you? you feel I like think that? I've been lower. I think I have. That was after like a lot of drama and college and stuff. And I, I feel like no, stuff. I, I feel like you were, uh, you probably were at the same sort of low as you were there and and now. But you dealt with it better because yeah, you've I gone dealt with through it so those experiences, better. right? I cr- what did you do? What did you do to deal with it, though? See, that's the thing. I'm like before. I had no nothing. I couldn't talk about it because I was meant to be this guy that's like, oh, he's bare happy in that. Like he's a smile. He smiles so good. Like everyone knows him as the happy guy, you know. 
Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, everyone, the that's funniest people are always the people going through this shit. Like, yeah, that's the thing. But then as soon as I open up about my mental health and just how shit it was, I felt like a million times better. Yeah. Like, it was good. Like, I fucking cried my eyes out that night. Yeah. I fucking cried so much. Like, I hadn't cried in years. I barely ever cry. Shout out to one person there that helped me out as well whilst I was crying and that. You know who you are. You probably listen to this too. But, like, man, it was fucked. Like, I cried so much that night. Like, just, I was just so And there's nothing wrong with that. Everything. Can I it's reiterate not, it's that? Not. Like, it's it's all right. If you're a guy and you want to, and you're feeling a certain way and you're, you're upset and you, you, life just gets overwhelming sometimes, right? And you want to cry. Trust just me, fucking like, cry. I Let used to out. think, I used to think that just crying was a fucking pussy. From pussies, that, yeah. That can't, that can't deal with themselves, you know? That you're not strong. But that's just toxic crime, to think like that. That's toxic masculinity. That's the whole thing. But yeah. that's another topic. That's another topic we won't get into. Yeah, we will get into that maybe another time, or something. I don't know. But like, yeah, getting through it was mad. Like another thing as well. Like, fuck, I say like a lot, don't I? Jesus Christ. Like, 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 like and comment. Like, fuck, like and comment, bro. Yeah, when every time I say like, yeah, you hit the like button. But you have to take a shot every time he likes. He says like hell, or you're you're gonna be I'm gonna la 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 <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna be like you on fucking you results fucking day break. with twenty Jaeger bombs. Oh my god. Oh my nah bro, that was mad. I was right. finished. Oh, Continue. No, just, that's another night though. But another thing that helped me I'd say was when I started contacting especially you and Adam as well. Yeah. Yeah, when we started playing more games together. Yeah, we started like getting video, to like Pokemon. Like, I'm and shit a like that. huge video game player. Like, I play fucking loads of games, and playing with these guys and having fun and laughing and stuff is such a good thing to take my mind off everything. Yeah, sometimes you just, you just need a downtime. Yeah, you know, uh, you just and I sometimes you just have like mindless shit. Like yeah. you could just talk about fucking waffle. Like oh, I said it again. <laughs> said like it again. I'm, I'm conscious about it now. For example, there you go. That's better. For example, We're expanding your your uh, my vocabulary. Vocabulary, on the spot. yeah. That's it. For example, I said that a lot now. Fucking hell! What am I doing? <laughs> when we play games together, we could literally have a podcast on that. Like, oh, for fuck's sake! <laughs> no, like. no, I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Fuck it. No, every time I say like, uh, I'll take a shot next time I go out. I'm gonna be. I take about fifty shots. If you can count how many likes he's had in this, uh, in comment this podcast, down comment down below. I don't think anybody's going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, we could have a podcast on that particular thing. Topic, like, yeah, whilst yeah. We're playing games, because it's so funny. No, yeah. we're talking masculine. What are you want about? Oh shit. No, yeah, I'm talking yeah, about game, video sorry. game yeah, podcast. Yeah, 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 video game, sorry. Especially PS Party. No, PS Party would get us cancelled. PS sure. parties were fucking straight violation on people. It was just violation on violation on violation. It was dumb. It was fun though. Dong it was Feng, so fun. Dong, Dong Feng, Feng. Group. shout out Dong Feng. You know who you are. Shout out VM Designs for the artwork. Oh Did my a gosh, job. bro! And Dan Pembers. S- Dan Pembers with. If you like that music in the beginning in the outro, it's, gonna co- it's coming out soon. It's yeah, releasing soon. It. He's actually just made that, and I was like, bro, release that. He's got some music. He's got music coming Friday. Pembers on Spotify. His link's down you, below on his Instagram. Bro, you better hit up. You better hit up because he is so talented. He's a sick producer on the way up, man. And follow VM Designs. What, what are you doing, man? Why are you listening to this? You're not following the guy who made our artwork. V- Vivek is an amazing graphic designer. Maybe he'll not so good at. Soon. Yeah, he'll he'll come in as a soon. guest. Maybe not such a good FIFA player, but he's a he's a great <laughs> graphic designer. <laughs> <laughs> shout out the pro club days shout out the pro club days bro it was always it was a lot of it was a lot of vivek what the fuck are you doing vivek <laughs> shoot the ball <laughs> what was that pass see that's that's another thing as well we had that in gc in a levels and yeah we, we had did. it a bit in summer and then yeah. as soon as the new one came out we stopped the new one was dead though that's the new fine one was, the new one was shit i ain't gonna lie but 
I think that's another thing that probably hurt a bit. But I was like, my my boys have left me. True, but They're we all have a life, class. right? You get busy. That's you true. You get busy. But that's another thing as well. Like, everyone was so busy. Like, when I was looking on, like, Snapchat stories and stuff, I'm seeing all my friends, like, going clubbing, having fun. And here I am, have work the next day. Or it's a Friday night. I can't do jack shit because my parents won't let me out. Or I went out last week, so I can't go out this week. That type of shit. So I felt like... I wasn't independent enough. Do you ever like, do you ever like think, okay, I'm going through this shit time right now. Obviously I've got to work and shit, but I'm, I'm building up my experience. I'm trying to work towards my future. Oh, for sure. Like, and I does that sort of motivate you? I don't in regret any experience I've had. I don't regret not going out. Like I'm happy what I was doing. That's why I cried so much as well, because I was like, I lost a job that I fucking loved. Yeah. I loved that place. Like, it was so good. The experience was so fun. It fucked up. Like, Corona fucked my course, too. Yeah. I'm sitting here trying to revise. I've got two exams left. I've got one. We're recording this on a Tuesday. I've got an exam on Thursday, and I am not ready, because my teacher has not helped me. I felt the same way with law. You, you said this before as well, man. This is a topic... I haven't been taught anything at all. Basically, you have to teach everything yourself, right? But but yeah, but I haven't even got a textbook. <laughs> How I, are you learning I, anything, then? I'm So, I've got a question book. And right. I have to try and teach myself the answers to this question book. That's try pretty and think like long. that. That's stupid. It That's makes no sense. Long. Yeah. So, I'm basically memorizing the wording of the questions to try and get them right i was trying to do some questions earlier and i totally fucked it like i had no idea what i was doing and that's the thing it's a it's a it's a process right especially when you you te- you're learning stuff yourself trust you me gonna... like when i start learning japanese it's over for everyone <laughs> you know what i watch I so much pajamas. anime i watch so much anime i'm surprised they don't know how to speak japanese at this point i I have a few like I picked up a few sayings and stuff like. If you went to I Japan, know, would you be able to oh, understand what no they're saying? Chance. No. <laughs> they speak like anime is such a bad way to learn Japanese. Apparently, it's awful. Like, it is terrible. You shouldn't really be learning it through there, but. I didn't know that. It is what it is because it's like, te- it's like learning from a textbook. It's not going to be like right grammar or anything. True. Some of it will be, but it's not the best way to learn because you should learn through, like, I don't know, what what what, what, are, what language apps are there? I have no fucking clue. It wasn't there that one with the owl on it that everyone was taking the piss some, of. Some People learned that, Spanish and French on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah I know what you're. You about. know what I'm I, talking about. Yeah, I know what you're on about, like speedo or something. <laughs> that's what you wear that's what you wear <laughs> on the beach bro that's what the fucking freshies uh in india wear on the beach bro quick tangent Got quick, the tangent, little quick tangent when i was on holiday at canary islands you saw no guy who was wearing like boxer swim shorts everyone wore speedos it was the most disgusting thing you had like 70 year old men wearing what's, speedos. what's like, worse right hell. what's worse 70 year old men wearing speedos or 70-year-old men fucking pure nude. Because I experienced that in Barcelona. Everyone was fucking naked. Everyone. What the fuck? Yeah, it's a nude beach yeah, right in front of our hotel. There was, a, there was a woman in our hotel by the pool with her tits out trying to tan her tits. Bro, there's a difference Shamelessness. between that and some chick playing volleyball with her tits out. <laughs> that's that's kind of hot still. I was like 10. Still. I was like 10. I was like, what the fuck's going on? I was like... I was innocent imagine, back wait, then. No, no, no. Imagine getting your sand in your dick. Okay, let's not let's not talk about that. Oh, yeah, let's not talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, anyway, let me carry on with what I was on about. Like, so, getting a job allowed me to focus on myself. And going through college allowed me to better myself as well. Build my character. Build my new persona. Because I wanted to get away from this college summit. I wanted to be an adult. Yeah. And I feel getting a job, being professional like that, like I lost a lot of my sort of, my shit habits. Like what? Give me examples. For example, whilst I was working, 
I stopped saying some slurs, not like bad slurs, but like different language stuff. So I wouldn't be as like I'm more clear with my talking. I'm not as stupid with my talking. I'm a lot better. Yeah, I'm a lot clearer. I talk a lot better than I should do. Probably because you're talking to a lot of people, right? Yeah, and you have to talk in a posh sort of way. I hate posh people. I can't imagine you speaking in a posh accent. I can talk really posh. Imagine this guy, right, just in his normal accent trying to describe accounts. Yeah, man, um, so you you got no P. Uh, You're broke. But but it'll be all right, yeah? We'll just, uh, we'll run some man's pockets. And uh, we'll get you up and going, innit? Once a man's pockets, we'll do that fraud thing, innit? We'll add an extra zero <laughs> in that. <laughs> fuck you people who do credit fraud, man. Fuck yeah, man, you fuck people. Fuck you lot. Fuck you lot. Dickheads. I'm going to be a fucking forensic um, a, like, accountant or something, and I'm going to track these frauds. The funny things. thing is, right, they post shit of, like, their Gucci belts and their alcohol and shit like that. Dang, all that, money, all that's paid with other people's money. How are you flexing like that? Yeah, man. Unless you're, unless you're like, frauding... People, unless you're frauding frauds, I can't rate you. <laughs> Getting revenge. Yeah, man. Now like, you had a red bubble. Yes. Bro, they're fraudsters, man. So is Wish. Sure. So is Wish. They're fraudsters. Wish is even fraud- bigger fraudsters. Bro, if you fraud them, big ups you. Don't right, fraud like ha- Alibaba or something. You can fraud Amazon as well, actually. Amazon. Fuck Jeff Bezos, bro. He's a dickhead. <laughs> Jeff Bezos. He's a fucking asshole. The richest man in the world. Yeah, can't be man. saying that shit. No, he's you a fucking... He could easily hire someone to kill you. Fucking, you can do it. <laughs> Go for it. Go on, Jeff. I'd lose my co-host. Go fucking do it, Jeff. My name is Jeff. <laughs> my name's Jeff. <laughs> right, yeah, anyways, so how do you... We'll how did, uh, yeah, how did you how did you get through all of that and get to where you are now? Because you're, you're at the top of the fucking world right now. Yeah, man. So, pretty much, I have thank every single one of my friends. My friends without you is mad moral of the story have good fucking friends good friends also, also also let me just shout out religion bro i became more religious by praying once a week i go to my good warrior my local good warrior once a week and honestly praying to god like i think gives you some peace obviously i think god is a thing right some of god you might my, not agree god, god in my language is called Wahiguruji, right I'll say that with chess, bro. I love God so much. If you don't agree, if you don't agree that God exists, that's cool. Like you're entitled to your opinion. But I hate those cunts that are like, "What well, fuck do you mean? Yeah, God ain't real, you prick." It's like fuck you, man. When they force their opinion on you. When they force their opinion, like suck your mum, like calm, <laughs> like calm. You can believe God don't exist. That's fine. But I'll still pray for you, man. Like, don't be an asshole. I pray for the world. I love the world, man. I just, it's so shit right now, especially. But, like, even before, like, there's so many deaths. There's so much shit. Like, 2020 has been such a fucking crap year. It'll go down in the history books easily. 100% worst year ever. Worst start to a decade ever. Like, so bad. Like, it's nuts. But, like, hopefully the next God, few months are good, though. But, like, yeah, but, anyways, going back, back from the, like, praying to God, help me sort of mentally as well like i felt like i had another person listening to you i had another hand on my shoulder yeah someone helping you someone to cry on you know another shoulder to cry on someone who's listening to my problems and i'm telling you now yeah i don't believe in coincidence and shit everything happens for a reason god answers my prayers man i pray for some shit some shit happened hence why i'm on top of the fucking world (laughs) right now bro (laughs) Oh my days, I feel so good. Like, so much shit has happened so well, and I love it. And he's also whipped. Whipped? Cough, what do you cough. Mean whipped? Cough, cough. Shut your mouth, man. Yeah, but it's calm. It's calm. Alright, last little bit then, before we end. I've been going for a little while. Yeah. Uh, uh, it feels like this has gone a lot quicker to be fair it's gone a lot quicker and we're way less nervous too because yeah. you know, this is sick I feel like this one even though it was deep I feel like we caught a lot of jokes because we tangented so much yeah I mean <laughs> yeah, you still but, got a lot that I hope you take away from this though yeah I hope you take a lot of everything like I hope you can focus on yourself at uni but also make a lot of friends 
those moving away, like just be yourself. I'm sure you're amazing. Okay, you're not alone. Even if you think you're introverted. Exactly. You know? Like fuck that. No, Adam is the biggest introvert I ever. Yeah, knew. and now he's, he's, he's like, not like that at he's all. He's expanded, bro. He's become such an extra. I'm so proud of the guy, man. Shout out you, bro. You're fucking sick. You're an inspiration, bro. His mental health is so good now that you know, like at the beginning of maybe last year. He was, uh, I wouldn't say he's fat, but he was a bit chubby, right? And nah, bro, he's, wor- been, he's been grinding. He's been grinding a lot. He's been working out a he lot. He wham. He's a sexy guy, man. Yeah. He's become like a buff panda bear. That's the thing. When you have a lot of self-confidence, you take care of yourself well. And it shows, you know? True shows. say. You do you look better. You get confidence like, with the girls in there as well. You know? Like, maybe not. Maybe he doesn't simp as much. I mean, he's getting big for his boots. He's trying to get into girl stream, uh, girl streams, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> You just painted him like that. No way. <laughs> That's so deep. Anyways, let me just say this. Let me just end the podcast on this note. You're not alone. You still have friends. Even if you move away, your friends will still be your friends. Like, they might not be where you are, but if you're feeling alone, why not just give them a call? Why not snap them? Why not text them? Why not do all of this? You're away from your families. Your family still love you. You talk to your family all the time. You know what I mean? Yeah, especially when it comes to feeling homesick. Don't feel homesick. Like Don't feel you'll, homesick. Because after the first year, what a lot of people say is like, you have every few months, you have breaks, right? And you can yeah, go see your family easily. Home. Just get the train, go home, see your family. You have got everyone waiting for you at home. Everyone. Like, don't think you're alone because you're not. Make friends open up become more sociable be a better person don't be don't sit down take action be a sick guy man be mad do your shit do your ting yeah man that's that's just, that's, that's a banger honestly i should be yeah. on that one we should end yeah. on that note because that yeah. was a bang that's like empowering that came from the heart bro <laughs> yeah it did I, there was a lot of passion in that There's a lot of passion all right we'll man. close us out then yeah so thank you for listening it's been another great podcast, I think. Yeah, so go ahead, like the podcast, like the video, uh, subscribe for more content from us. We will hopefully be doing these podcasts every Sunday, 5 p.m. uploads. And yeah, thank you. It's been your boy, Sumi. And Solmon. We'll see you next time. Bye bye.